Yo, check this out. So, yesterday, Fritz Montana had an in store up in the Bronx. Ten people showed up. He said, F this, let me have a drink. Puffy trying to make me go against 50. He set me up. We met in Vegas for the first time ever. You know, um, I'm sure I heard about him more than he heard about me. Right. But when I met him, it was just like, you know, I was like, um, you going back to New York tomorrow? I'm like, yeah, like, come on, get on my jet. Happy birthday, dear friend. Happy birthday to Thank you. you. Thank you. 50 Cent is back at it again, exposing Diddy's rumored freak-off partners. And this time, he's spilling the beans on how French Montana allegedly used to go shopping, so to speak, with not just Diddy, but also Drake. Rumors about French being Diddy's boy toy have been circulating for years, mainly due to their suspect photos. Like this one, for example. It looks innocent at first glance, but then when you zoom in on Diddy and French, it's a whole different story because it looks like they're spooning. But that's not all. Diddy also named a flavor of his Ciroc vodka after French, and they took multiple exotic vacations together over the years. As for Drake, he recently swooped in and teamed up with Diddy to executive produce French Montana's documentary that came out last summer. However, word on the street is that all these favors Diddy and Drake did for French came with strings attached, and French allegedly paid them back by taking part in their freak offs. And now 50 Cent has joined the chat and added more fuel to the rumors about French being Diddy and Drake's bottom. When I was talking about partying just now, I'm talking about when we... Are... <laughs> Yo, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, I'm confused right now. Fresh rumors recently popped up, roping in French Montana and those disturbing allegations about Diddy using his position in the industry to recruit rappers into freak offs. It's no secret that Diddy and French have been tight for years, and they sparked rumors on more than one occasion about being more than friends. So, to give you some background, French Montana was born in Casablanca, Morocco, and when he was 13, his family moved to New York City, setting up home in the South Bronx. After two years, his father decided to return to Morocco, but his mother chose to stay in the U.S. with their children due to limited opportunities back home. During this time, she was pregnant with French's youngest brother, who was born shortly after his father's departure. With three kids to support, his mother relied on welfare, and French became the primary breadwinner for the family. In 2007, French released his debut mixtape, and after the success of his single, Shot Caller, French caught Diddy's eye, and in 2011, he signed him to Bad Boy Records. When asked why he decided to sign French, Diddy said, It's obvious. His work ethic, his song making, the effect he has on the youngins. If you've ever been to one of his shows, every time he drops a record. Also, it's important. I'm from New York. I rep New York to the fullest. And for real, for real, can nothing move in this city without us being a part of it. Diddy also claimed he had big plans for French and his music. However, instead of working on his career, Diddy started taking French on exotic vacations and shopping trips. And it didn't take long before rumors started swirling that French was Diddy's new boy toy. Diddy was there next to French at every birthday party, and if you didn't know any better, you'd think they were a couple. Just last year, this video started making the rounds on social media, showing shirtless French sitting at a table and looking like he had baby oil on, while Diddy was serenading him with the happy birthday song. Happy birthday, dear French. Happy birthday to Thank you. you. Thank you. This is a special birthday for both of us. After this video went viral, many fans said it reminded them of Diddy singing Happy Birthday to Fabulous during that infamous Drink Champs episode. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Happy birthday to <laughs> Fabulous. By the way, after French started hanging out with Diddy, he started facing allegations of SA from multiple women. Over the years, several women have accused French of SA, drug facilitated SA, sexual battery, sexual harassment and misconduct. In March 2020, he was accused of essaying an incapacitated woman at his former home in Hidden Hills, California. The woman alleged in the lawsuit that French and one of his associates, whose name was not revealed to the public, invited her to the studio where they supplied her with drugs and alcohol and essayed her. The lawsuit reads, defendants were mixing and serving drinks to the plaintiff and the other women who came with her. Defendants controlled the drinks, providing excessive drinks and making sure the women were drinking. Defendants also were themselves drinking and using drugs. The lawsuit alleges that the woman was essayed by both men. Multiple women later came forward with similar stories, including one alleged victim who said she was a teenager when French cornered her and tried to essay her at a dinner party hosted by rapper Belly. And then The Shade Room posted videos showing Diddy, French, and actress Sanaa Lathan drunk in the back of Diddy's car, which fueled the speculations about Diddy and French drugging women and forcing them into freak-offs. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile,
Meanwhile, French and Diddy grew even closer, and Diddy even decided to name a flavor of his Ciroc vodka after French. It's so smooth. French vanilla, you gotta try it. Yes. True. And then this photo went viral, showing Diddy and French seemingly spooning while partying with friends in Miami. The photo caught 50 Cent's attention, and he shared it on his IG with the caption, What in the world is going on in this picture, man? Something's not right. But then the story took another turn when Drake joined the party, and allegedly both he and Diddy used French as a freak-off partner. Diddy and Drake were famously embroiled in a dispute that ended with Diddy either slapping or punching Drake at a Miami nightclub. And despite multiple eyewitnesses who claimed Diddy put his hands on Drake, Diddy later denied getting physical and claimed he and Drake had a simple disagreement over Drake's hit song, Zero to 100. Like, what made you put hands on Drake? Um, I did not put hands on Drake. Oh. And I do not want any problems with Drake. Drake is, right now, <laughs> that's all I got. <laughs> that's all I, I have to say. He's putting in his work. I didn't, put, I didn't do nothing to Drake. We not Drake is my friend. However, after French later said he helped Diddy and Drake squash their beef, Rumors started circulating that these two were actually feuding over their boy toy. You said that you uh, patched up that beef with Diddy and Drake. And um, when I got there, Drake was there waiting for me. And, and Puff had came in his own little boat. And that was the first time they met um, after they was going through Since their the altercation, beef. yeah. Yeah, but I was already talking to Puff before that. I was like, whatever y'all got going on, y'all need to dead that. They both like my best friends. So I'm like, y'all need to dead that. Drake and Diddy really ended up squashing their beef after French intervened, and in April 2023, they announced they'd joined forces to executive produce a documentary about French and his humble beginnings, which came out the following June. But right around the time of the documentary's release, fans noticed that French started copying Drake's whole look. And after this photo went viral of Drake gazing into French's eyes, some fans said it looked like Diddy started sharing French with Drake. And now here comes 50 Cent again, fueling the fire and claiming French and Diddy have been doing more than just partying together. After 50 posted this shirtless photo of himself in a boxing stance, one of his followers commented, you should F French Montana. And then 50 responded, what the F you just say? I ain't with all that crazy shit. What the F? You think I'm puffy? Diddy's comments recently resurfaced again amid allegations about Diddy recruiting rappers into freak-offs, and fans are convinced French was one of the many rumored boy toys Diddy signed to his label under the pretense of making music together. One fan said, Frenchy had to get oiled up and get ready for all the birthday kisses Diddy was getting ready to give him. And someone else commented, I once heard French Montana say he'd do anything for fame. Diddy slid over like, I'm about to put that to the test. But how do you feel about all these rumors surrounding French Montana and Diddy? Do you think French was really passed between Diddy and Drake? Yeah, I mean, we know pretty much from everyone that Puffy signed, you know, from their own anecdotal stories and their own, um, what they've came out to say. Give me two seconds so I can place that. There we go. We know from everyone who's came out about Diddy, um... We know about his situation from those people. So, including the people who've also been on his label, including people like Mace, you know, people like this. And um, those people generally say that, yes, the, the stuff about Diddy is true. He's not, you know, he is a snake. He is a slimy guy. And um, he will make you compromise yourself to get in the, in the position that you desire to be in most. And so... Could I see something like this? Would I put this past Diddy? No. Would I put this past French Montana? No. Because he signed to Diddy. And like I said, birds of a feather flock together. Anyone who's around Diddy or who's associated with Diddy, knowing the things that he's into, they're possibly into those same things or are allowing those same things to go on clearly or are okay with that going on, you know, which is all equivalent essentially. So, I mean... I wouldn't put it past him. Do I think it's, you know what I mean? Do I think it's that? Um, yeah, I mean, there's been some really questionable photos of French and Diddy. And like I say, you guys, there's not that many coincidences in the universe. If he signed to the record label and we know Diddy's into freak offs and we know um, pretty much everyone who ever has been around Diddy while he is in a position of power over them, you know, the only person who we've seen who wasn't, in power around Diddy was 50 Cent. But everyone else who Diddy was in power when they were around, like he like he felt like he was the, the powerful one there, they had to indulge in his freak-offs. Like, you know what I mean? They had to indulge in 
what he asked for, you know? Especially if you're signed to his label. So um, there's just no way that you that I could see that that didn't happen. You know what I mean? Like, I definitely see that being the case. Um, obviously, just like I said, anyone who would um, associate with Diddy will be into similar things or would be allowing similar things to go on, which means that, you know, they have that same capability in them. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, I mean, that's really it, you know? Um, French Montana, he doesn't come off as a zesty dude. But that doesn't mean he's not a zesty dude. You know what I mean? Like, I don't mean that. Um, you know, I would never have guessed just instantly, like, oh, that's what he's doing. That's what he's up to. Um, a lot of this is actually news to me. I didn't even know he was signing a bad boy. But um, those photos look mad odd. Them on vacations with Diddy, those are zesty photos. So something had to go down obviously he went through the zesty door he said he would do anything for fame he probably went through the zesty door for fame why would i, I wouldn't put it past him um so yeah i mean let me know y'all thoughts do y'all agree with the points that are brought up in this video or do y'all disagree with the points that are brought up in this video let me know y'all thoughts in the comment section below and do you agree with the points that i brought up in this video or do you disagree with the points that i brought up in this video let me know your thoughts in the comments below um but yeah y'all i mean yeah. I mean, we've seen situations like this with Diddy. So for for it to be true is not far-fetched. That's all I would really say. Like, we've seen it with countless other rappers who we've talked about on this channel, countless other situations. Gene Deal, the bodyguard, has even exposed Diddy for a lot of his freak-offs and a lot of crazy things around him and a lot of the situations around his name. So I'm just like, um, it's out there, you know what I mean? The knowledge and the information is out there, and it's been exposed numerous times. So, um, that is what it is. You know what I mean? There's not really much else to break down when something is so clear. Do you know what I'm saying? When something is so clear and something is so blatant, there's not a lot to break to rip into there. It's so blatant, it's right in front of your face. There, it, it, it is that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It is that. So, um... Hey, man, um, if, I would say if the shoe fits, wear it. And for French Montana, I would say the shoe fits here. So, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, y'all, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Obviously, if you enjoyed the video, like the video. Um, it says like 50 to 70% of y'all are not subscribed to the channel, which is obviously very problematic because as we've discussed this is going to be the message that actually creates a monumental shift in the culture and in the zeitgeist and in um, the consciousness of the youth. This is what's actually going to create a, a shift in their consciousness because this is what's going to wake them up and let, allow them to know the things that they need to know to make the certain decisions that they need to be able to make to av uh, avoid being in certain positions that they don't want to be compromised in. You know what I'm saying? So this is all incredibly crucial. This is why I say if you have a brother or sister... Um, a mom, a dad, an aunt, share the video because we can't just be greedy. We can't just keep the message for ourselves. We have to push this out. We have to enlighten everyone. You know what I mean? That's our job as the people, to enlighten the people. And I can't do it alone. I can't do it all alone. Like, I need your help. I literally need your help. I need you to help. Like, you have to help. Do you know what I'm saying? Like... You can't just sit here and just, like, not help. You know what I mean? No, that's crazy. You have to help with the movement if you agree. Because it's going to fail if we don't all help for it to prosper. Like, you know what I mean? We have to all help for this to prosper for it to work. You know what I mean? Black Wall Street wasn't built by one person, bro. Like, we have to actually get logical with this. Black Wall Street was not built by one person. It had to be a group of people who consistently helped and consistently contributed. Not one day. No, every time they contributed. You know what I mean? Until it was a great monument. Until things were great. You know what I'm saying? So, um, that's the thing. So, it's all about consistency. It's all about support. It's all about community. All of these things will give us prosperity and will bring us to a higher position than we were all at before so yeah y'all if you enjoyed the video like the video it snows right here be easy y'all